All right, so you're reading a book by Seneca. By Seneca, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were some quotes related to, uh, to the body, to the mind, uh, to social obligations, mm -hmm. and to personality. Uh, what he advised is not to live a comfortable life and not mm -hmm. to search from, for security, mm -hmm. but to search for a great life, mm -hmm. to excel as human. Uh, okay. I think it's a, it, it is in accordance to uh, that article that we... We read, right? I think the last read. one. One of yes. the last articles we yeah. read. Uh -huh. uh, what he... He was a, uh, a congressman, a really successful con congressman in Rome in his time. But he advised that uh, we just need to... Uh, uh, to supply the body and the bar needs, even the mind, uh, if it's strictly need, uh, like comfortable, is something pejorative. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that the man uh, that knows that can be a, a calm mind. Like can, have, can have can, a calm mind? Yes, can can have a calm mind, mm -hmm. uh, like he, uh, the house is to protect you against the the rain, the mm -hmm. clothes against the uh, the winter, mm -hmm. uh, the the food is to fulfill your nutritional needs, uh -huh. your body. Uh, if you start to persuade, persuaded, persuade, uh, persuaded, yeah, uh, your mind uh, and your actions according what's your more pleasure, mm -hmm. uh, you you start to create an unstable life and a stable mind. And stable some, or unstable? Unstable. Unstable. Uh huh. Yes. And because of that, he says, he says, uh, it's the cause of the of a man failure. Mm -hmm. Because a man that cannot control his mind cannot control his life. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the phrase. Mm -hmm. uh, I had. Uh, some intuitions according to it. To some insights. <laughs> some insight, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, somehow I agree. I even, do you know, I even uh, believe that uh, the most of our energy is, uh, uh, is wasted. And uh, because of that, we need to sleep more. Mm -hmm. We need to take more time, like working, like doing things that is to our body. Our body, body. Uh, I'm trying to to excel uh, in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, not trying to to be uh, rude with my body like aggressive like aggressive yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not eat, like not eating a great je jejun uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, nothing too severe or too extreme yes mm -hmm. but uh, on the other hand I don't like it to be so compa compassive like or complacent, maybe. Complacent, complacent. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's uh, often I start uh, 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 like a diet, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And in the weekend, I make a uh, escape. Okay. <laughs> you eat something sweet or something? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, it's the proof. More caloric. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's uh to me, it's uh, enough to prove that I I have no. Uh, I have some part of me that I I have no control. Mm -hmm. And that's that part uh, sometimes uh, increase or decrease according my disposal to follow my own rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, But overall, it's difficult, right, to try to <laughs> this balance. But but it's fun. I think it's fun to try to find a balance. I think some people do not care about finding the balance. Yeah, but I think that trying to achieve the balance, uh, trying to avoid both extremes, is interesting. Uh, it's like a like a game. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh huh. But the point I I'm trying to to master, let's say that way, mm -hmm. uh, especially in this moment of my life, is how to to master this balance. Mm -hmm. Especially in the sense of my body, my mm -hmm. physical needs, mm -hmm. uh, and even uh, be satisfied and be uh, like he, and be uh, capable of uh, deal deal with change, uh, mm -hmm. not to be a rebel. Robot. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like, uh, for example, to have a, a habit. It's mm -hmm. not what I'm looking for because it's totally mechanical. Mm. I want to live each moment uh, and to enjoy the things and not to do it by uh, by force. Mm -hmm. uh, So, uh, but I'm what trying. about but what about discipline, organization, things like that? I think are not important. Uh, I think it's connected. mental health. Yeah, because they're connected with the idea of a habit, right? Uh, I do, I somehow disagree with that because uh -huh. uh, discipline. Uh, let's say about uh, willing. I think we will. Will yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's tr how how our will can uh, dictate our life, mm. uh, and not our body, and not the need for pleasure, because uh, the mechanical uh, activity of our body, like a habit. Uh, doesn't pr produce uh, a conscious awareness of our life. It's like mm -hmm. people who work uh, every day uh, do everything, but they even care, uh, even think about it, even mm -hmm. uh, involve with that. It's a habit. It's uh, a habit, but it has not. I I, I think that. One thing is the habit. The other thing is if we are present and focused on the habit, on what we are doing, or if we are not. Most people are not. So it's kind of independent. The way I see it, it's like one thing is the habit itself. It's not good or bad. But uh, the thing is some people are conscious of what they're doing. They're present. Other people know they are totally disconnected from what they're doing, the activity they have at hand with distractions, you know, you're doing something and thinking about something else, you see. So that's why mm -hmm. when, when I talk about habits, uh, I like the idea of having a habit because it gives structure to my life. But the things that I make a habit are things that make sense to me. And they give meaning. They have meaning. 
they they have meaning because if they don't have meaning i it, it's not it does not become a habit in my life mm -hmm. you know if it's something mechanical and I, i think this is the point actually don't you think like yeah. being aware of what you're doing being present like listening to someone really listening uh not getting distracted this this is difficult right it's not the mm -hmm. Uh, like doing things like a robot, for example. A lot of people do things like a robot because the activity is not meaningful. Yeah. It, it, it has no connection with the person's life. Right? Uh, so. Uh, yeah, of course. Two things that I would uh, point, point out is that mm -hmm. uh, when you think, uh, like, a, when you're thinking in a bird, Mm -hmm. uh, it sing every day. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he has a habit, and I don't think he has uh, a mind to uh, deviate his uh, will. Yeah. Like he, what I'm trying to say, in other words, is I do agree uh, with you. Yeah, if the connection, but if you really uh, can have this sense of discipline and will, mm -hmm. it's what I'm looking for, mm -hmm. and what I believe uh, deviate our our will from our desires is mm -hmm. the mind, the seek of pleasure, uh, is the point that we are not involved. And the point that our mind is not uh, balanced. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say uh, people in general are unstable. Uh -huh. uh, and the habit is necessary to them. And in that, in that perspective, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good thing. I think because... Uh, they are unstable and they cannot overcome their desires or master their, their will. Mm -hmm. uh, they need a habit in the sense of uh, doing uh, a thing mechanically each day, each time. Uh, a habit is these physical connections. Mm -hmm. uh, physical connections like a Uh, people who have a habit to work out after the, the, their jobs. Mm -hmm. So the physical connect, uh, connection is related to their jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, the habit has this link. Yeah, uh, it's a trigger. It's a trigger, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they will not... Uh, You can do and be what you want mm -hmm. to be without mm -hmm. any trick, trigger. trigger. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and maybe that's the point that I'm uh -huh. trying to, to find or to uh, discover. It. Uh -huh. yeah. I see. Hold on, you opened something there. Did you open deep work versus the internet? Were you watching this, this video? Uh, I didn't watch it. Oh, okay. I will, maybe I will try to. Uh -huh. uh, but I, I saw it's a membership video. Uh -huh. But it's a preview. Maybe it's available. Let's see. Uh, Deep Works versus the Internet. Part two. How to succeed in the age of distraction. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's all, this word is always coming back. Distraction. And deep work. Do you know anything about deep uh, deep work? Have you read anything about it? No, I no? haven't. Mm -hmm. uh, It's an interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> no, but I, I I didn't. I think it's paid. I have to pay for it. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Do you have any other articles? Okay, okay. let's see. Are there subtitles? Oh, it's a text, so you can pause. Yes, okay. Oh, nice. If I like to work, begin by creating for you a zone of silence, a will to renunciation, 
and detachment, which puts you entirely at the disposal of work, mm -hmm. ac acquire the state of soul unburdened by desire and self-will, which mm -hmm. is the state of grace of the intellectual work. Without that, you, you do nothing, at least nothing worth, worthwhile. Mm -hmm. uh, it's some, somehow related to what we are uh, mm -hmm. talking about. Yeah. Uh, the uh, it's pretty it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty pre Let's see. Uh, I always forgot his name. Ah. Steven Pressfield. Pressfield. Steven Pressfield. Steven yeah. Pressfield. A Guerra yes. da Arte. <laughs> he wrote A Guerra da Arte. I don't know it, this book. Have you uh, read it's, it? Yes. It's, uh, uh, it's kind of necessary book to, to read it. Oh, Stephen Preston. Uh, he wrote something related to that. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, my work of create, creation mm -hmm. doesn't come naturally like a... Mm -hmm. uh, like magic. Out of the blue. Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened is that I work a lot, work and work, and somehow it happened. Yeah. Uh, we saw it in Plato, we saw yeah. it in Newton, Einstein. Mm -hmm. A lot of... Uh, there is a, uh, a move called the, mat the mathemat mathematician. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. mathematician. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Hindi guy. Mm -hmm. uh, he is discoveries uh, is being used to study black holes, and but these guys worked a lot. They devoted their lives to this intellectual work. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's. It's interesting because Amari is su subtle. Subtle. Uh, subtle. Subtle. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Amari's subtle uh, work needs even more uh, we will. Uh, it's interesting because it's so difficult to overcome our body needs. Mm -hmm. that overcome our intellectual capacity to master it is even uh, more difficult because mm -hmm. uh, it needs a lot of connection with your uh, internal being like uh, what I who I, I who am I what I want to do uh -huh. uh, so let's see. The next slide. It's a painter, beautiful paint. Maybe these are a great uh, personality, but uh -huh. I don't know who they are. Is there a text below a transcript? No. No? Oh, here. Let's pause here. Okay. Professional activities performed in a state of distraction free uh, concentration that push your cognitive capa capa cap capabilities, 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 capabilities to their limits. Mm -hmm. These efforts create new value, improve mm -hmm. your skills, and are hard to replicate. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. So the we need to perform, yeah. or the, the idea is to perform our professional activities in a state of distraction-free concentration. Yeah. Because this can push our cognitive capabilities to their limits. And if they're pushed to their limit, they are hard to replicate. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, of course, uh, uh, for most of us, it's uh, like faith. Uh, we need to believe mm -hmm. in that, mm -hmm. but we totally. we have no no experience in, in this. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but something to uh, to pursue. Yes, for sure, definitely. Let's see. Uh, uh, it's interesting. Uh, each of these pictures, mm -hmm. uh, we see like he, it's interesting because the spotlight uh -huh. is only uh, on the subject being uh, developed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, well observed. There is no distractions. Yeah, but this is before the digital era, <laughs> right? Yeah. All these yeah. paintings are from before the internet. This is, yeah. look, it's, I'm not saying that it was easy and that people didn't get distracted. But today it's an absurd, the, you know, the level of distraction. So see all these paintings, uh, they depict people well before the internet. But the, I, but the idea, it's nice, right? To look at the paintings and to see what you saw, like the light and the focus and the attention there is no one else in the paintings it's just the person and the task at hand yeah sometimes at night sometimes at night right so yeah. there is probably total silence because life if it's hard to to imagine but there were no planes no cars no traffic yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the kind of noise that we got used to today didn't exist at that time. Yeah. You of know, course. we live in a very, very noisy world. Yeah. It's hard to imagine what it outside was outside like. and inside. Yes, yes. Yeah. Outside and inside. The TV <laughs> is on, Netflix. Huh? Of course, I do agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and people, people were less anxious they, because the speed was much, much lower, you know, speed in general, speed of communication, the speed, access to information. People didn't know what was going on in other countries. Yes. Like now we immediately, instantly know what's going on on the other side of the globe. But at that time, you didn't know. You didn't know what was happening on the other side of the street had no idea, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, in your own town or village. So it was a completely different world. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, sometimes when I think about it, I get so, um, I don't know, because it changed very fast. This changed very, very fast. It, it was yeah. a matter of uh, decades, centuries, but mostly decades, right? Impressive, yeah. impressive. Of so course. because of this speed, I think we're getting lost because it's difficult for us to adapt to the speed. We are getting lost in this turbilhão uh, yeah. of information, of everything. Uh, and it's hard to, to create and to yeah. do a good job in, this condi in these conditions. I think so. Uh, to do a meaningful job, mm -hmm. maybe it will. It's person Stephen Preston mm -hmm. uh, uh, describe something like this picture in mm -hmm. his book. Mm -hmm. uh, he did a meaningful job. Uh, another thing that I would point out mm -hmm. is that uh, because these distractions uh, your life is so fulfilled with uh, meaningless activities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thoughts information mm -hmm. that there is a, a a hole inside you mm -hmm. that uh, maybe you try to fulfill by pleasure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think, uh, there is something missing and you try to fill it with easy things, things that are temporary, 
will not last, will not make you happy in yeah. the in the end. So, yeah, we we have to be very smart and have keep our eyes open and stay alert and see what really really matters in life yeah. because life is very short. Of right? course. Yeah, so it's important to focus on what is important. Yes. Yeah. Very nice, Rodolfo. That's it. That's it for today. We have reached the end of the class, unfortunately. It's so good to talk about these things. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, well, we need to stop here. So, I hope you have a good week. And, I... um, okay? Okay, I hope you'll have it too. Yeah. And I'll see you next time then. All right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. of course. Okay then. So, see you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you.